Okay, testing, testing, welcome, Michael Wickerson at Wickerson Studios. I'm doing a live, but I'm going to record this and put this up. Lately, I've been digging deep into C Sharp, and I had interest to do that, but I got back onto advanced um, uh, algorithms and things by uh, Parametric Camp, and what they taught me outstandingly was basically with a very simple script, uh, sorry, with a plug-in, the uh, Parasite, script Parasite, you're able to link whatever you're writing. Uh, so this is for people that have GitHub uh, Copilot. If you want to pay the $10 a month, uh, and then you want to build your scripts this way, uh, so you can think through it, you can talk through it, you can literally talk to Grasshopper, talk to Rhino, talk to Visual Studio Script, and if you have a little sense of Rhino Common, uh, you'll know how to correct things as you go. And we're, I'm just going to do the absolute basics of let these scripts write themselves. And basically, it's a one-node script that's writing what I want to build. Um, and I can make it as interactive as I want, but I'm going to keep this dead simple to start. So this is for everybody out there that's kind of got a kind of peripheral vision of what, what I've always been playing with and, and trying to find something new. But... Um, you know, I was getting frustrated with chat GPT because it wasn't coming up great. Um, I was using the hops uh, with the with the Flask server and using Python 3.0, and I still had to correct everything in Python. But I wanted C Sharp to be the main tool to go to to think what I would end up doing. Now, this is a very simple single node, but I want to show how you show you how I'm making it. I'm just talking to the devices, so I I bring in. Um, Basically, you can take a look at uh, Script Parasite. You can just go to your uh, a package manager and get Script Parasite. As soon as you load it up, it needs to be enabled, but it'll come on uh, not enabled to start. You'll have to build a file on your desktop to, to say where these files will go, and I'm actually going to get these organized better as I follow through Parametric Camp a little more. But when I load that, um, whatever a script I had in here, because I was having trouble with debugging, um, uh, with certain things that this isn't as helpful to me. This is not GitHub Copilot. This is not answering things for me. And if you know me, I'm very late to return to this in life, uh, computers and mathematics. So here's what I did. This is being written into here uh, from Visual Studio. And you can always watch Parametric Camp, and they'll describe that in full detail under the advanced uh, learning in Grasshopper. But that said, that, that node if I go here and I link it, uh, and I started with a point node. I just went up here to Raya Ice's uh, C Sharp, uh, all these things I wrote before. So I can grab any one on struts, uh, points, meshes. I have tons of these around here. Actually, I have a lot in Python too, but I have a lot in C. Um, extremely excited about this. Uh, so just stick with me. I'll show you where it's going. So you start with something that maybe the script is dead simple. Maybe it was just points, how to make a point from X, Y, Z. Um, as soon as I load that um, and I hit true, I can go over the Visual Studio. Well, go back to go back to this folder on my desktop and open that uh, this file, create point initialized X, Y, Z, uh, at uh, .cs, and that'll come up here. And because I have GitHub Copilot in my extensions, and I swear by it, because I think it's awesome for people that are maybe wanting to catch back up to this, and, and you've learned a few languages, but you want to have the efficiency of this, um, basically, GitHub Copilot's there for me. So create an instance of a point initialized in XYZ. And it does that, and it runs, and I pull it out, and there's a point. Well, I can literally just type the comment, create a line from the origin to this point. Just All I have to do is say what I want. Boom, it generates it. You may have to play around a little bit. Uh, you may have to look in the constructors. You may have to go in and backtrap a little bit. But if you're doing basic stuff to start, just get in there and do that. Build your simple geometries. Tell it what you want it to do, and it'll do it. It will update. What you'll have to do is just bring down your outputs. Um, the next thing that you want to bring to the grasshopper node. So you just have to remember your output point to point. I'm just going to say line out to line. So it generated a new line. So I just said, okay, output that. So I had this one line that popped up. And you're packaging this all into one node. You're not going to have a cluster to make afterwards. You're making the cluster in C sharp. So needless to say, I'm dreadfully excited about this. Then I, I said, just for fun, if I jump on here, 
um, let me grab here, uh, because you know I like trigonometry and math, I said move the line 10 units in the x direction. And it basically updated, uh, made a new line, moved line, and did exactly that, just input the vector. So I was like, well, that's kind of cool. It moved it over, you know, in the x direction 10 units. And it updates, so I just put in moved line. Now you'll see I didn't put in a moved line came in as moved lined out. Um, but then I overrode that moved line. Um, I think I did it. Uh, let's see what I did. Move lines are trig lines. So I did have moved line out was the moved line. Uh, but I removed that because I said, okay, can't we move the line 10 times in a range that uses trigonometry to create a list of 10 new lines? And boom, creates a list of lines for me. I don't have to put it down as an input. It's generated it inside. It's put it into a for loop. It's putting my doubles for me automatically, even though it's hard coded. So you can always add more in points on this end, the same way you're adding outputs. And then line, trig line is made a new line from, and it wrote it all for me. Fr uh, line dot from plus the new vector, uh, line two plus the, the vector, and it adds that. And then I just have to, uh, well, that's all I have to do. Then I just do move lines out to the trig lines, and then I end up with the circle lines. Now, you can see how you would just keep going with this until you made this club cluster too heavy, um, but it's going to be lighter than building it into a uh, grasshopper. At this point, I'll probably think about, okay, well, what do I want to do with these curves? Now that I've got a one nice little script that's doing geometries, I'm getting better at C-sharp as I'm building it, and I can start stretching this into all that comes with Rhino Common and uh, in general. And it's going to problem solve everything in a way that I never was seeing it solved over here by uh, going into writing within here and hitting some wonky bugs that uh, they talk about in parametric camp. So that's enough to start with. That's just absolutely amazing. Uh, that's all I have to say about it. I can talk to Visual Script Studio in comment lines using GitHub. You will have to uh, get GitHub Copilot. I think it's well worth 10 bucks a month if this is how you're thinking. And then start to build your clusters. So whereas I sat back a year ago and took all the scripts I could and just wrote independent scripts trying to memorize and learn them, well, that's all built into the AI of the open source of working with GitHub Copilot. And it's funny, I just tried to drag something into the Rhino window. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, my mind is, like, inside out and backwards as to what this could be. But as I build up this script, you'll be able to see it by what I choose the output. And in time, when I end up making a geometry by talking to Visual Script Studio GitHub Copilot, I'll end up removing all these other things, like I did remove the moved line. And I removed it more here because I took it off moved line because it was moved lined out, was moved lined, and I changed it to the trig line because I'm developing that script. So you walk your script in, you start building better geometries, you get in here, you complicate it, try not the hard code, total control, building what normally would be stretched out with wires in Grasshopper into a massive component, and literally all we're using is a few panels to see things, a few inputs to get us started, and the entire script writing itself with GitHub Copilot. I think that's all I want to say right now. Obviously, I'm extremely excited. I'm going to stop the stream, and I will stop recording. So I can't wait to see where this goes.